Hey, Cody, what, so what do you think in terms of, like, your style? Like, what do you think of her compared to him? Um, <laughs> Which one's y'all getting? I feel like that one's half-baked. <laughs> <laughs> half-baked. <laughs> this, one's, this one's right. Yeah, this know? one's right. Yeah, I mean, that's what usually people's uh, reaction when it comes with my style that I like. I like it, like, midget-looking. I don't know. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo, man. I don't know why I like him midget-looking. <laughs> But see, like my boy, he's actually like normal, right? Dude, he's just, chunky. Man. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a beefy boy. He's got them shoulders, man. Yeah. He's beefy. He, he's going to be like that, too. <laughs> so don't be surprised. Oh when, when he gets older, he might beef up like him. I hope so. <laughs> Right here. So if you guys are wondering what this fuzzy thing is, it's my microphone. So hey guys. So yeah, today pretty much the uh, I just really wanted to talk to you guys pretty much about premature litters, uh, premature labors, and all that good stuff. Just because like man, I, I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I did before and plenty of other breeders as well, man. And uh, you know uh, what I'm gonna say is that when you have a premature litter, when you have a premature litter, man, it will set you up literally just for failure. You are starting off on a bad shitty path already you know you're like it, it, it it's like when you start a race for real it's like you tripped on the race and you're pretty much gonna lose already um that's how i can describe it it really does suck because um yeah i wanted to talk to you guys about this today because uh literally when i was on instagram i was looking at one of my um one of my supporters one of my homies uh mo with cool kennels what's up mo uh but yeah man i was looking at mo and his videos man and uh, i saw the puppy and it looked very premature Right, I'll show you guys. You know, I can tell it's premature because it has no hair on its on the, on its muzzle, and then no hair on its ears, and then no hair as well on its paws and stuff. When you see that, it's 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 a very it's not good, man. It's not good. And puppy, it's moving on. It's it's alive, but man, it, it just it sets it sets you up for failure, and it sucks, man. And uh, yeah, man, I really wanted to to tell you guys this, man. And uh, I was I was. I was texting Mo, like, hey, Mo, uh, your puppy looks premature, man. Like, uh, when'd you cut her up? When'd you do the C-section, man? And uh, he says, man, I just I just did a C-section on the 62 day. And I was just like, so it was a planned C-section, right? And he was like, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, and I was telling him, I was like, bro, you don't, I don't recommend planned C-sections because, like, See, the thing is, when you do plant C-sections, I always tell everybody this. When you do plant C-sections, you do not really know what day she really is going to labor. You know, like like going going through 60 to 63 days, like her due date. You do not really know what her really her real due date is because it's not the day you do your first breeding. No, it's the day where she find, like where she spikes up in a progesterone. Like when is she fully primed up and ready to be breeding and when her eggs dropped and that is when you can tell okay when there's an actual due date for real but still even doing that i still don't recommend it because the thing is every dog every female is is different it's different every litter is different right it can be the same exact female but her first second third is going to be different symptoms it could be different uh due dates she could drop on 59 she could drop on 62 63 64 and it's always different right this is this is why i always recommend like you know when, when people tell me like hey i know my female i know when she's gonna drop she always drops early or she always drops like i don't care about that stuff man it it, it always matter like every litter is different right every every breeding is different right Th this is what i really wanted to talk about because the thing is man when i was when i was texting mo when i was calling mo pretty much i was talking to him like Man, it seems like you did it early. Did you even do a reverse progesterone uh, before the C-section? He was like, nah, man, we just we just cut her up, for real. And I was like, damn, man, that sucks. Because he was thinking, you know, yeah, it's 62 days, it's early already, right? But really, it could honestly, it could really just be, you know, maybe she's on her 58th day, 59th day, you know? Like, if it's a 58, 57, you are, you're, you're, you are a bug, for real, like, it is bad like you are set up for failure already and um you know it's it's a 50 50 shot bro literally even with doing everything right two feeding oxygen having oxygen and uh, all that good stuff it's a 50 50 shot the puppies are gonna live it's 
it's that bad, you guys. And that's that's why I really wanted to talk to you guys about this, you know, from my experience, right? So so with the case that happened to me, right? Um because with me, it was I, I couldn't do anything about it because like the thing is, Missy, like the female that came in uh, like labor early, she came in labor early because when I noticed now, I suspected it's because I fed her too much. I it was her first litter. I skipped her heat cycle, obviously. Um, I bred her second heat cycle, and I was feeding her too much, right? So her, she was very obese or very overweight. But also, I don't know if it could play a role in how the puppies can grow as well. But just pretty much know, like, my female Missy was overweight, so she couldn't hold the puppies as long anymore when she started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you know her nipples would drop and literally it was like dropping to the damn floor for real and that was pretty much it so she went to into into labor on on 59th day her water broke right her water like it was a water bag and it, it wasn't fully popped yet right but the her water bag was hanging so i took it to the vet and then after that we we uh did the c-sec it was during er hours as well it was on a weekend on Sunday, so that vet bill was like two thousand twenty two hundred dollars if I remember it was a couple years back though and um yeah, so and then the puppies came out and then it had seven had blue fawns and everything I had beautiful colors as well, but the thing is the puppies were were premature and during that time too I think it was like two three years ago it was three years ago um I didn't even know how to two feed. I didn't even know about oxygen. I didn't even have an incubator. I didn't have anything. I didn't even have shit on me. You know, I just, I just did everything the natural way with just puppy welcome, pretty much, and all the puppies died, pretty much, and that was it, man. That was it. So I lost everything. So, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a big ass L, right? Which is why I'm talking to you about uh, in this video, you guys. You know, I, I don't want you to you know, make L's like I did or other breeders. Um, you know, I really want to, anybody that does breeding is with me and it's the first time as well. I always try my best, like during when we're breeding, when we're, when we're doing the pulling and everything, I might make a pool video in the future. I don't know, it's kind of weird. A lot of you guys have been texting me like, hey man, you should make a pool video. I might make a pool video because uh, I just started getting paid by YouTube, which was amazing and awesome. Um, but I don't know. I might have to do it. You know, if, if I need more money, shit, I might have to, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Right. So, um, but see, the thing is like every time when we're pulling or if it's a, if it's a new breeder, um, I always like to get to know people too, you know, just, uh, just to kill the time as well. You know, I don't like to just, just get in there, do the business, pull the dog. And then after that, it's, uh, <laughs> that's it. Just, you know, get out. No, I actually like to interact with people when actually we're doing breedings as well. And, you know, try to the best of my ability and to the best of my knowledge to to teach people how to actually um, tell for symptoms for, for labor. Um, when she, is she coming to labor? When is she going to go into labor? Um, how do you tell if she's pregnant or... Um, how do you, how do you belt puppies or what should you do the first two days? So everything is important, man. So that, that's why like, I love to make videos like this and teach people free game, man. And, uh, yeah, funny enough, um, when I was talking to Mo yesterday about what we were talking about just now with food labor, he was asking me like, Hey man, why don't you, uh, why don't you make a franchise or anything like that? And, um, I told him straight up, I was like, dude, if I was going to make a franchise, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. <laughs> and then he was like oh yeah you right you right about that so guys with me um it, everything is free game with me man you know just uh i just uh i just i just want to be you know within my heart i just wanted to teach people with uh with free game and free knowledge and from what i've learned in my experiences and other breeders as well just to uh not this not make the same mistakes as us man and uh it sucks man you know i, I make these videos for you guys to learn because I don't want you guys to feel this way of of losing puppies because it was Mo's first time losing puppies. Like, fuck, man, I, lo I lost the puppy yesterday and I literally just did a C-section because it was premature, right? So I wasn't surprised if it passed away. And um, sadly, unfortunately, it did. And, um, you know, Mo was telling me like, man, I haven't got sleep for the past two days and man, I'm a zombie and uh, it, it sucks, man. It's uh, I'm pissed, right? I'm pissed off, man. And, you know, Mo was telling me he was pissed off at the vet. And his wife, 
why I think it's his wife. He was like, man, why you seem so pissed off? And he was like, he was like, I'm just pissed, man. <laughs> so, you know, describing what Mo guys or with how I felt, you know, I'm very, uh, I'm very soft hearted as well. And, uh, losing puppies, it sucks, man. It sucks. And, uh, you guys always ask me like, how do you handle it? I don't, man. I don't, you know, I'd still, I would, I'd still cry. I'm gonna tell you guys straight away. I cry. It sucks. It's a, it's a shitty ass feeling when, when you lose puppies or lose dogs as well. It sucks. It's a, uh, it's a, de if you feel depressed, literally. And, uh, which is why I wanted to make these videos for you guys just to hopefully make you more confident when it comes with, um, having labors, um, or having litters just in general, because this game man this uh breeding dogs or breeding anything it's um it could be up and down for real and uh, i've learned that recently it's it sucks man and uh yeah man so um so to recap everything you guys on conclusion with everything i just wanted to tell you guys that okay when it comes with um how to make sure your female comes into labor correctly right do reverse progesterone man you know look for symptoms right look for symptoms when she's going to labor, okay, you suspect, okay, she's coming near. What I recommend to do is have a thermometer, have a thermometer, um, put it in her booty hole, her anus, and uh, see where her base temperature is at because every temperature gauge is, is different. It, it, every temperature reads different. So every dog is different. Every temperature is different. So you have to know where is her, what, what is her temperature? What is her regular base temperature at all times? Because Men have different temperatures and women, and women have different temperatures, blah, 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 vice versa. So that's why I'd say know her base temp, okay? Now that you got that, at least for example, it's like about 101, okay? Now that we know that, when she's coming into labor very close, or you know she's close, and that she starts having symptoms, she starts freaking out, or she starts shivering, or um, she starts nesting, right? She's nesting. Right, going to going to blanket, trying to find a spot. Maybe she's running around, going to corners and stuff. Maybe she went under your bed. Those are the very most obvious symptoms, right? But see, the thing is, every female is different as well, right? Every female is different, so you don't really know. Um, so, because some of my girls, they don't do nesting. They don't shiver. They don't shiver like they're cold. Um, they don't whine. So you have to take a take a uh, temperature. And sometimes, um, very rarely, it happened to me temperatures don't drop like that suddenly so you have to find out what all the symptoms are and then after that i take a reverse progesterone to okay i'll be like okay say so, okay shit's going down okay i go to the vet go take a reverse progesterone test and then after that it's around for me personally what i do is i like to do that three mercury per milliliters right ng slash ml i think that's what it means um but even that that's how i know okay she is ready she is ready to to be opened up and then you can have puppies so that's pretty much it you guys you know that's uh that's that's all i can teach you from now when it comes with uh you know how to how to correctly time c-sections and hopefully i can i try my best to explain uh with the scenario with me and then with mo and uh, mo is having another litter you guys so hopefully uh i try my best to teach him on what to do for the next one and to not make the same mistake again and uh or the same mistake as i did and um you know sometimes you guys i wish that i would have known these things beforehand but um knowledge is key knowledge is power so Hopefully, this uh, teaches you guys how to time C-sections correctly. And uh, yeah, hands-on experience, you guys. Love you guys. Let's go, baby.